We're back for <laughs> first time in months. What the fuckers? That's right. Just when you thought shit was over. We're back! That's right. <laughs> you can't count us out. But it is July 23rd. That's right. It was, uh, what, May 17th? 15th? May 15th. May 15th on our last show. Yep. Everything feels off right now. Like, it feels like I'm screaming into the microphone. There's so much has fucking happened. There's been a the lot. The world uh, has melted. We're all drinking wine. That well, has happened. <laughs> well, we were doing that last time. Right? <laughs> yeah, no. so That's one thing that hasn't changed. I wasn't. Uh, so, huh? uh, I think you were. Was I? Yeah, I think you were drinking last time. I don't time. remember. That was three months ago, man. But regardless, I have not been drinking a whole lot since we've stopped. What about y'all? Well, yeah, you probably wouldn't be drinking a lot <laughs> since you stopped drinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, since our last show. I, oh. I haven't yeah, drank a whole I, lot. I drank, I drank about... But, I mean, as regular as we were. I drank oh. a lot at Kenny Curly last week. <laughs> I did, too. Yeah. <laughs> I did, too. I drank a lot. Uh, yeah. The weekend before, I was thinking we went over Paul and Wendy's that one night for dinner. Yeah. yeah. I drank, I like, I drank like 12 beers then. Uh, Fourth of July, I drank 20 beers at my brother's house. I couldn't drink 20 well, beers. Yeah. I went home with – because I left – I came with there were 24. I came home with four. I couldn't drink 12 if we started at 8 o'clock in the morning. Right I can't now. tell you the last time I had 20 beers. It's been a while. Yeah. Fucking losers, man. <laughs> no, dude. That shit. The me. hell? Yeah. What, what, what was, was that? that? <laughs> that was my wine cup. Oh, my rubbing against God. my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Even me, I'm like, what the fuck was that? Oh. I thought there was like a ghost flubber or some shit. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. I didn't know if it was like... <laughs> I didn't know if it was like a queef or something. <laughs> I didn't like, know what it was. Because he's drinking wine? My or? bad, guys. Uh, <laughs> caught me off guard. <laughs> Whatever it was, it was moist. <laughs> it was. You could hear it. It was slippery. Wow. You even startled me. <laughs> Dude, it had the same sound as like if you flopped your pecker out on a window and rubbed it across there. <laughs> like, <laughs> I thought we were remixing. <laughs> Remix! <laughs> You're talking about the shower glass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still doing it. I can't do it. <laughs> When you're walking around your house bare ass and you just happen to rub up against the glass uh, sliding window. Sure. Yeah. That's what well, it sounds like. I have kids, so I'm not walking around bare ass. Uh, sucks to be you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a downer, John. Well, I got the kids. Same. <laughs> the same. <laughs> I don't have any that I know about anyway. We're good. No. Wouldn't that be some shit, though? No, it would like, not. <laughs> that, that would be a lot of fucked up shit. What 16 years from now. Hey, by the way. Uh, it looks just like Patrick. <laughs> no. Hey, Dad. <laughs> hey, Micah. <laughs> no. Not cool, man. Hey, Micah. Don't no, you, a spinning <laughs> image of you. Don't you just like, know. how do you deny that? Don't, sounds like Patrick, though. Don't you put that juju oh, yeah. on me. Looks like Micah sounds like that. Hey, Micah. <laughs> I hope he has hair growing out of the back you know, of his shirt. <laughs> you know, that reminds me of, like, it sound, you kind of sound like little uh, Nicky. Yeah. <laughs> Micah does like a good little Nicky. It's freaking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Popeye's is fucking awesome. Popeye's chicken's fucking awesome. Get back in the flash, <laughs> Cash Ish. Oh. Yeah. Adam That's good Sandler stuff. great. <laughs> oh, Adam Sandler. I was talking about movies I just recently watched in Eurovision with Will Ferrell. It was pretty funny. I haven't seen that, but I've watched more movies lately. War movies. Yeah, oh, um, you're being all violent like, shit. The last one, uh, Hostel. It was on Plex. I don't yeah, know the name of it. The last war movie I got into was, was Remember the like Titans. A <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good war. Yeah, movie. there is a war going on. This one had uh, Clint Eastwood's son in it, Orlando Bloom. Oh. It's pretty good. It's based off a true story in Afghanistan. I would think I watched like something called Defiance, maybe. That's an old movie. Don't yeah, I. That's I, with Michael Craig in it. It's about the fucking Jews and shit, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I went to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no, no. no, actually, that was a good. Movie. That's it an old was, movie. That's probably like a, no, like a ninety-nine, two thousand. It was decent, but I yeah. was dozing off, man. I couldn't. I couldn't hold back. <laughs> See, I don't even know what we're talking about. See, yeah. the last, the only thing close to that I can say that I seen was Deliverance by Bubba Sparks. <laughs> back in the day, <laughs> never Bubba seen Sparks that. Sparks is real it deal, was a song. man. Deliverance. And I watched the Hitman's Bodyguard. I've watched so much fucking shit. <laughs> well, I finally got around to watching Super Troopers 2 now that it's free on FX. I watched Waited some two of years. 
I watched some of it, but fell asleep. You're not missing much. Like, I, like they had some funny lines in it, but it, it was kind of a letdown. Yeah, well, it's not the original. No. And it took so fucking long. They should have just continued on with the original and just hurry yeah, up and hurry up and kept it going. They changed the whole thing. Yeah, what are we talking about? Which movie? Super Troopers. Two. Yeah, they're like up in Canada. That they lost their jobs and they got their jobs back. Yeah. Yeah, because that where they lived in Montana or Vermont. Vermont. Uh, the, Part Canadian of the Canadian government took it over, so they all of a sudden became Canadian territory instead of American territory. Do they chug the maple around. syrup still? No. No. Oh, uh, you should have brought that back. See. Mm-hmm. That's why I should have been writing it. They should be chugging something. Catsup. Catsup. But now I haven't been watching much movies, but I have been getting out more. Oh, yeah. Went to uh, Blake Shelton's Old Red Bar in Orlando, just opened up. Huh. It's pretty cool. They got a big stage in there, and it's like two stories. And they got Two story a- stage? No. <laughs> <laughs> two story building. <laughs> That's building. So you can eat your dinner and drink your beer while and they had a dude in there, he was just playing the guitar by himself, singing songs. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So um, What's the menu looking like? It's limited right now. And when I say limited, like five minutes. Sometimes things. that's awesome because I, then you're not sitting there fucking well, just like, it, oh. might, it might be limited because there might be a bar. Yeah, we got And that. they just create that menu so they can stay open. But no, no, they have a full menu. Yeah. yeah. Full menu for like their normal deal. But because of all this, they got a limit. But we just got the nachos and had pulled pork on it and stuff. Good stuff, man. But they got me on this great deer burgers, let me tell you. What? So what? Great deal beers. Oh, so you're, okay. you say great deer burgers. <laughs> I, I thought he was talking about like deer burgers. Deer deer deer. Deer deer deer. A deer burger sounds good. But no, nah, there was a super sweet deal. If you buy one of the pills. Super sweet. Yeah. Deer burger. <laughs> if you buy one of the Pilsner glasses with the old red logo on it. Your refills are only nine dollars. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> so, <laughs> and you get a free entry to the voice. <laughs> nine dollar refills. Get to grab Gwen Stefani's titty. <laughs> Where is this at? You say grab Gwen steps steps on titty. <laughs> you grab Gwen <laughs> Gwen steps on titty. <laughs> oh, Mike is reading. Mike is reading the fine print. That's, I ain't grabbing anybody's steps on titty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like Gwen Stefani's titty. I was signing up until he read the fine print, and I'm yeah. like, oh, that's not what it yeah. says. Uh, John's like, wait a minute. Hold what are those steps on getting thrown in this bitch? Gwen's grandson's titty. <laughs> He's already got enough kids. I don't need a stepson. Uh, <laughs> already got two uh, of my own. I don't want <laughs> Old Red's the damnest dog. Yeah. But, but, but like I said, you get $9 refills if you buy this glass. So How much is a one-time purchase? Your one-time purchase with the first beer is $14. $14 Good a God. beer. So it's $14 a beer if you buy them by themselves? How big is this no. beer first off? It's it's a big beer, right? <laughs> it, it looks like it's the Pilsner glass, but it gets skinny at the bottom, big at the top. What kind of deals have they got <laughs> for like smaller beers? You get a plastic cup with that. And that's just about five bucks, twelve dollars or some shit. What for a fucking solo cup of beer? Well, yeah, your refills are nine dollars. So what the fuck you think the first one's gonna Bro. be? Uh. That, that the whole I don't want a giant ass beer because it's gonna get fucking warm. I'm not trying it's to. It's not. It. You, don't understand. you need to call the fucking attorney general. These, These are this, small beers. In this time of our beers. our pandemic, yeah, that fucking place is price gouging when it comes to fucking beer. But it was yeah. in Orlando, like to go and experience. Oh it. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I go to Orlando to drink nine dollar Dixie cup beer. You can't go there on the reg. <laughs> That's no. what I'm saying. Like fucking it, bankrupt. This is like a one time of like. God, I wish a decade Garth, kind of. I, w- I wish Garth Brooks would open a fucking dive <laughs> bar re- uh, restaurant. Call it Friends in Low Places. Oh, you did. No, it's just like a dive bar tour. Uh, but no. I was trying to give him a plug. Maybe he did. I don't know. But what I was getting at is you go, you buy the damn cup, and then you pocket, you smuggle you in some bush lights. Hells yeah. You smuggle them in, and you keep filling up your cup. You get this. You get the souvenir glass that says Old Red on it, and on the back, Old Red's itching to have some fun. But are they going to stop you from drinking just a bush light in the can? Not if you dump it in your glass, they give you. Because we did it at the racetrack. No, the, the waiter, if they're a waitress, if they're paying attention to you... They yeah. might catch that. You have to be careful. I be, You've no. been sipping that beer all night? That's right. No, but 14 bucks? Like, what do you expect? No, yeah. if, if they're smart and they pay attention to your glass, and all of a sudden, some people will catch that shit. I'd be like, mind your own damn business. Why are you worried about what I'm drinking over here? That's some true Polk County shit right there. And you there. know what? You know what my answer would be to that? I paid for the glass. I'll use it however the hell yeah. I want. 
<laughs> tell me how I got to use my glass. I got to buy your broke ass. Sir, beer. you also you can get the fuck out hey. and also put a shirt on. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> and while you're at it, throw some pants on too, you sick bitch. <laughs> no, put your fucking shoes on. You only got one fucking flip flop, you motherfucker. Put your mask on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to wear pants, but I got to wear a mask. <laughs> yes, sir. That's the policy. <laughs> Sign me up. Isn't that some shit though? You probably would have. They'd probably, they probably be more pissed would. if you came in without a mask over your shirt. Yep. You probably would if you had wood. That's the new slogan <laughs> for your mask. They're you not worried would about if they're, you had wood. They're not worried about your breath. Uh, they're more worried about your breath than your fucking farts. Because mm. your fart, your farts don't transmit it. <laughs> nah, but that's how you get fucking Ebola. Pink eye. Pink, pink eye. eye. <laughs> <laughs> you get the stink eye. Well, stink eye, why is your b- eye. why is your eye that close to someone's asshole? <laughs> and it might not be a bowl eye. It might be a bowl eye. Uh, I don't know. Ebola. Because somebody told him that if he looked in there, he could see Uranus. <laughs> and he thought it was the planet. <laughs> By golly, he was right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know how to prevent that? Keep your face out of there. <laughs> Keep your face out of the danger zone. It's like, oh, yeah, I see Uranus. It's right next to Pluto and Neptune. <laughs> you know the blue planet? Neptune? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm trying to spit my fucking beer all over you. <laughs> oh, man. That's Orion's belt. Is your name Orion? <sighs> have I sh- Have you seen the Big Dipper? Yeah. <laughs> Check out the Little Dipper. <laughs> God. It's disgusting. <laughs> oh, man. You could really see all the const- or stars in the constipation down there. The black hole. The black hole. <laughs> The Milky Way. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, <laughs> but I think the the wine is la- you're making you laugh. <laughs> it's, right. It's, it's, John's right. like John's like it's funny till it happens to you. Yeah, it's all fun and games until you have fucking chocolate on your upper lip. Once you start oh. making, once you start making butt jokes, John's not into butt stuff. Once you start making butt jokes, John no, no, shut no. down over there. It's not fun, man. It's not fun game to play. Hey, is that a asteroid? <laughs> That's good stuff, man. Let me introduce you to Harry Stamper. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, buddy. Harry Stamper. The the fucking ass is just where your shit comes out of. Yeah. And (laughs) I just don't see anything that just like, hey, let me stick my dick in there. (laughs) Whoa, whoa, whoa. We never even talked about that. Jesus Christ. This is gross. gross. (laughs) This is gross. This is a gross place. I mean, sure, if you're into it, whatever, but... <laughs> Dude, think about it. Like, if we would have never went to the moon, how would you know what the moon was like? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what the moon's like because I haven't been there. That's what I'm saying. If you've never been to the moon, how can you say you don't like the moon? John's I've like, never I want to s- go to the moon. <laughs> John wants uh, to go to the poon. The uh, poon. I just don't see, like, the, the whole the whole smell of the ass. Like, I just don't want to know nothing to do with the ass now, man. Just can we change topics? Can You're we, the one that got yeah. us there. No. <laughs> hey, speaking of that, I had an exam done before the age of 40. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, didn't we talk real. about this before? Can't you get a blood test for this? Yeah, we blood talked test. about this. No. Yeah, blood test will tell you exactly what you got wrong nah. with you. Well, we had to do some more diagnostics. <laughs> we had to dig deeper. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I learned that I can survive in the wilderness for at least three days with no food. Zero food. That, that is, is very true. You can't eat and all that? That is very true. I, I, I couldn't eat for fucking three days. All I could eat was some sorry-ass jello, chicken broth, and beef broth. And let me tell you, oh. beef broth and chicken broth sounds like something in an old lady's underwear at a nursing home. Was it packed Packet broth or jarred broth? <laughs> it was I, in a box. I'd be much more packet. It was, yeah. <laughs> it was <laughs> packets better. It was box. It was box broth. Oh, that's that bullshit. It's close enough. It's more packet. Oh, yeah, yeah it's more bullshit. I don't know because it's contained. Packets no. in boxes are made of the same material. No, I want that paper. Packet. I want that powder that I got to taste myself. Powder. I just wanted to be able to just like, put a I powder. I want that packet gravy. The but, gravy dust in my mouth. But here's the thing. <laughs> I could only have four ounces of it at a time. That's perfect. You can make so, it three and make it super thick. I would dump it in a measure glass like this, and I'd put it in the microwave for 30 seconds to warm it up. And believe it or not, if you close your eyes and trick yourself, you'll swear you're, you're eating steak. <laughs> I'm telling you. But you're drinking chicken broth and you think you're eating steak? No, the beef broth. (laughs) Beef broth. The chicken broth was rough. But let me tell you, I made jello for the first time in my life. 
I'm a fucking Jello expert now, and I will never eat orange Jello again because that's all I could have for three fucking days. Did you and put, I'm over it. Did you make a chicken or beef broth Jello? No. <laughs> I made fucking water with packet Jello. Here's what I have to say about this whole thing. I don't. I mean, I was. I'm not concerned about your health being three days not eating. <laughs> I don't give a shit about your health. Because <laughs> I've watched Naked and Afraid, and they at least go like 30 days. Were you crying nothing. in the fe- naked in the fecal <laughs> position in your in your living room? <laughs> Were you crying yeah. yeah. mosquito bites? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was not. Uh, did uh, you have head to toe covered okay. mosquito? <laughs> okay. Did you get bit by a squirrel? I'm not done. Did these people on Naked and Afraid have to drink an entire bottle of Miralax in one sitting? I drank the like a whole. Oh, they fucking pretty much thing. do when they drink that yeah. dirty fucking yeah. river water. When they, yeah, when they drink <laughs> river, that dirty like puddle water, it does Pud- the same thing. Oh yeah, yeah. It fucks them up. Like, they tell yeah, you, you're not more dehydrated. Yeah. yeah, and all the bacteria and the yeah. shit in there. Yeah. 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 Apparently, yeah. Apparently, you're not supposed to just drink like lake or river water and all that. No, man. No. Even you though it's nice and crisp, it's got amoebas in it. Yeah, you gotta have to have some fucking. Type, no, it has some type of, in it. <laughs> <laughs> has to. You have to have some type of filtration. Uh, well, yeah. Or burn it off. Yeah, you gotta sanitize it. Or have yeah. a good immune system. <laughs> well, I mean, if you do have, I mean, you can create like a little tube and then they pack make it them, full yeah. of rocks and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and then have it filter the water. Through, they have a big tube. It's like a giant syringe. <laughs> almost it has like a coffee strainer on the bottom. Yeah. And they suck. Like they, they'll put it in I've mud, seen that. Yeah, and yeah. they'll suck the mud through it, and yeah. the water that comes through the tube is crystal Gets clear. Clean. Yeah. yeah, that's all the water we drink. It's been filtered through the. Well, air. You can make poop a, water. You can make a nature. Literally, you can make a, na- a natural filter doing the same thing. Be like Tom Hanks and set up some fucking uh, castaway. Castaway, where you yeah. set up some tin foil and like boiled up some water with the evaporation. He was never able to catch a fucking fish though. Hey, yeah. Terrible I, fish. How the fuck can you not catch fish? But he got crabs. He found crabs. Yeah. Bro, I and would, yeah, movies on TV all the time. He's a hell of a coconut. Oh fisherman. yeah, the, the coconut scared the shit out of him the first night he was there. He thought it was people walking in the woods. I would take my hair and use it as fishing line and fucking get up something to make a hook. Well, there really wasn't much fish there. There was just a few little small fish. Come on, Tom. Little Tommy. Tom. Yeah, man. And, and you know what? I was thinking about the castaway thing. Talking to Wilson might be a good thing this day and age because everybody's fucking losing their fucking Everyone mind. Everyone needs someone to talk to, man. Well, no, everybody's <laughs> losing their fucking mind. <laughs> mm-hmm. Everybody's nuts, man. I'm going to talk to a goddamn volleyball. I'm going to talk to a volleyball with my own handprint on yeah. it. That's the one thing I learned with Tom Hanks. You don't want to travel with no. the motherfucker. Because, look, he crashed Apollo 13. He crashed the plane in the Hudson. On he fucking in the FedEx a uh, castaway. Yep. Yep. Oh, castaway what about what Sully? He landed the plane. So isn't there a movie crash. like Terminal where he's just trapped in an airport too? I don't know, but uh, Captain Phillips. He was the captain on uh, all his shit. Uh, the fuck away from him. Yeah. He's a and crash. wasn't he like a celebrity on the fucking Epstein case? He uh, may have been. Yes. Yeah, I think he's uh, also Maybe. listed on that where he might be on, involved with that. And he had COVID. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. he survived COVID. And he has, he's in a new war movie now where he's uh, a captain on a I war vessel. Ship I wonder if that ship sinks. Yeah. <laughs> All I know is I don't give a shit. Forrest Gump is one of my favorite movies of all time. Yep, that's right on up there. That, Remember it's the Titans. One it's one of them. Remember uh, Titans is up there for sure. Yep. I, I like Apollo 13. That's on my top ten. Is that with Bruce Willis? No, no that's <laughs> on the good. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Dan's in it, though. And Apollo uh, 13. I don't remember. I've Kevin seen Kevin Bacon b- is in it. Um, yeah, if you watch like, the a bunch Twister of, guy. Every time I think about Bill Kevin ba- Bacon, I think he's about dead. that movie where he's invisible and he's creeping on people. But if you go back and watch movies. Hollow Man. Hollow you'll, Man. like, Black Hawk Down. Black went, Hawk Down? Black Hawk. Black Hawk Down. Black, <laughs> Black, Black Hawk Bone. <laughs> Black Hawk Down. If you watch that movie, there's, like, a bunch of actors that you now know that yeah. back, back then you didn't, like, know them. Jamie like fucking outside. Lannister's in it. Um, what movie is this again? Black Hawk, Black Hawk Down. Down. It's about when uh, two helicopters crash in Somalia. It's based off a true story. It's a real good movie. Yeah. Is um, what is it? Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal in there? No. Was that uh, Jarhead? That's Jarhead. God damn. But Black Hawk Down. Uh, you had the guy who plays fucking Obi Wan Kenobi in Star Wars. He's in it. Orlando Bloom, who played Lagos and fucking Lord of the Rings. He's in it. Jamie Lannister's in it. A guy from Harry Potter's in it. These Harry like over. Potter? These are over time where like people like being Harry actors. Potter. My daughter is fucking obsessed with Harry You're Potter. You're welcome. I've never seen Harry oh, Potter. I've only seen. It was we were at John and Claire's for John's birthday, 
and I was rummaging through the channels. And she's seen Harry Potter is on. Now Ross said it. it's okay because it's on there, and I'm like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, uh, the one she watched, she, uh, she was lured in because the werewolf guy, dude. the guy who turns into the werewolf. Mm. She loved it at John and Claire's. Now she's petrified of the werewolf. <laughs> no, she's. O- I think she's over the werewolf yeah. now. But there was another scene where she knew it was coming, and she's literally hiding. <laughs> in the little thing under the TV. Oh, she said that's when the uh, the Dementors came. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and she's like, she knew it was coming, and we were like, what are you doing? Uh, after that movie, they started getting darker. Yeah. And I, th- well, I saw she's watched a few of the dark ones. <laughs> I've seen bits and pieces of a few of them. And Usually, she, I got, notice I, I see on Facebook or on uh, Plex, Usually she's watching like the first one. The yeah, first one's shit. like when they were kids. One of the first ones are. Yeah, it's raining. Pretty good. I looked up and thought it was snow. For me. Oh, it's been super wet lately. So wet. So wet. <laughs> it's been now, moist. In the team chat, I'm like, I'm wet. <laughs> Today, I'm like, I'm wet again. Like, <laughs> I had to mute that. <laughs> Oh, the gifts, man. They're Actually, so funny. John was talking about that uh, last week when uh, Paul and Wendy's. He brought up how uh, you were, uh, <laughs> oh. like, you muted a text that he was trying to text you. Oh, and I'm messaging like um, – but, but you like ended up responding. Like, there's a Forrest Gump, like, hey, Micah, <laughs> no response. And then you responded to somebody else who John was next. He was like, well, Micah, just respond to me, John. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I didn't see that. No, because you were, you were helping said, somebody. Must have must have muted. You were helping somebody with something, and I was busting the other person. And like, oh, really? He's actually helping me right now. I'm like, that's some bullshit. I just sent him something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're he's right. Like, he, he fucking muted the group. It was a jet work. <laughs> right. We were sharing screens, and then she's like, hold, or, hold on. Let me type this person back. And um, I like, tell him I got my uh, um, my JT blockers on today. <laughs> I, I'm not I'm not looking at his shit. It was like J Trim blocks or mm-hmm. something like yeah. that. <laughs> Tr- trim blockers. That's what it was. <laughs> I'm like yeah, sending I was, gifts like, oh, man, hey, Micah, where you at, He was Micah? ignoring me, but he responded to somebody I, else. I was actually helping someone. I was just like, just wanting to see if he's alive. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually working. <laughs> this week, for sure. The gifts, though. The gifts. The gifts. My gift game is on point, though. I'm really yeah, quick. I've had some good ones, too. Like, I got you good was it earlier this week. <laughs> <laughs> you need to stop, like, liking and uh, <laughs> all that shit in text messages. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> well, no. If you, if you, my uh, phone won't let me yeah. do that. But it shows up on your in your text message. It shows John liked light. an image. <laughs> yeah. John liked it. Like I guess you you long press it and you could like it on the Some, iPhone. Yeah, somebody else. So has every been time doing you do that. that, it comes across as a text message on everyone's phones. Yes. And it'll say John. It's annoying. It's like the whole text message, and it'll say liked in front of it. Let and me yeah, see John it. liked. I just, just ha ha on Micah's slice of pizza. Slice of pizza. Because you said you were going to order pizza or whatever. And you're like, are you on a diet or something like that? Right there. <laughs> what does it say? John laughed at an image. At an image. <laughs> <laughs> so every time someone oh, sends a text message, look, look we, we get another though. text message. Look how it looks for me, though. It just looks like that. That's how it looks oh, for yeah. me. Oh, yeah. See? That's how it looks for me. Ha ha. Like Facebook Messenger? Yeah. So yeah. I guess if you had an iPhone, you would probably see that. If you had an that. iPhone, it wouldn't be a big but deal. Us, it's but it's me and Mike getting another fucking text <laughs> message. Exactly right. Telling us that John liked the goddamn image. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Oh, man. Now that I know it pisses Ross <laughs> off. I didn't say it pissed me off. Oh, no. You don't like it. That's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. You like and laugh at everything anyway, so it's not going to change. Uh, yeah. Laughed at the image. <laughs> Oh, Good there's stuff, only man. a few people that get it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't even know what he said. Oh, uh, you got an iPhone, don't you? No. No. I got well, you used to have one. Yeah, he got a Galaxy. He has the uh, same phone I got. I've had this phone for about a year. It's been the best thing I've done phone wise. Mm-hmm. Really? Fuck it. I won't ever buy an iPhone. Yeah. Again. Like oh, I have an yeah. iPad. I hate. An, I hate my iPad over my damn yeah. cell phone. I had iPhones for life. You got an actual back button on an Android. Oh, <laughs> uh, you don't need a back button. Oh, dude, you Sometimes. don't know what you're missing until you get a back button. Yeah, like with a back button, you can get out of some situations. Like, I don't you know how, to get like, into. like on an iPhone, if my mom's having me check something, like yeah. I'll open up like the apps page, some of that. I'm like, I, how I do I go lost. back? Where's the back See? button? There's no back button. Right there, back. back. Yeah. What do I need a back button for? It's like when you're on the internet browser or you click on a link, yeah. you, you hit the back button just like a computer and it takes you back to the previous page. There's a back button on the Safari thing. See right here, uh-huh. back. You guys are fucking tards. Good no. God! No, I like but I like it. the physical button on the. Well, it's not a physical. It's built into the screen. Yeah. But no matter what you're on, oh. you use that same back. Next button topic. Button. Speaking yeah. of that, back button. I your broke, butt. Since we've been here, I broke this phone. <laughs> you had to get and I one. fucking lost my shit. Let me tell you, this Today? was no. 
It was like the day you went on vacation, and we had to finish up that last project. And we were there working, and my phone fell off my lap and hit the corner of a little desk. My old phone did that. Busted the screen. Yeah. Shit's all haywire and crazy. And I'm trying so hard. I'm like, these people only know me as nice, Micah. <laughs> They do not know me as asshole Chinese pissed off Chinese-made piece of shit. <laughs> Throw it across the room. I'm trying so hard. Like, if I been, witnessed that reaction. If somebody <laughs> hand me with a the break, screaming. With the brake line flange. Chinese-made piece of shit. Threw it across the warehouse. <laughs> I, I was at this point. And like, then oh, Mike is mad. <laughs> and then I'm trying to get my phone like fixed through warranty or whatever, the, the insurance program. And they're asking me dumbass questions like, we're going to uh, send you to a survey. I'm like, I don't have a fucking screen. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see it. Like, I Once I get my so new mad. phone and I get it working, I will do your fucking survey. Uh, yeah, so like, I was boiling like to the point to where like, this kettle's ready to pop, and I did good. Like, I turned over a new leaf, and I only got frustrated once on the phone. I think I called the guy a dumb fuck for not listening. And other than that, I did good. I did great. It was one of those things where all the coworkers saw Micah with a smile on his face, walk into the bathroom, and soothes the bathroom door. Motherfucker, God damn it! <laughs> my, my co-workers only know Smiley Micah. Yeah. They don't know, like, it's shit. All they, that's, that's all they need to know, <laughs> That's man. it, man. I, I turned over a new leaf. I got a fresh start. I, I, I felt like, you know, one of them, like, in prison for life guys, and I got a fresh start. You're a fucking cat, and you just died. Like, I got my tenth life. I got not eight lives left. I'm good. When when you go when you leave at the end of the day, you should be just just leave it all there. I do. Unless you <laughs> absolutely yeah, have do. to do it. If you have to bring it home or whatever, sure. But I never bring work home. But sometimes you, that's part of your job. But I mean, if you can Same. if you can leave it at work and then just pick up the next day, that's the perfect situation because. Otherwise, you'll go fucking insane. But I didn't want to show anybody my weaknesses so they could use them against me. Be like, so oh, we could take that guy Rather out. Rather than get oh, angry, you, you know, just cried. Oh, you know, you know. Like, you're in a, you're in a room full of bullies. <laughs> <laughs> Michael would get clowned on. Nah. <laughs> oh, man. But I had an adult moment, and I felt good about it, okay? <laughs> hey, as soon as you feel like you're going to lose your shit, just be like, oh, man. But just, that's really the only time. Just get, get a grip, buddy. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. I realized, you know, what? it's just the damn phone. And it, it, exactly. <laughs> but it had, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, <laughs> but it, it has everything. Nobody's on. gonna fucking give a shit about your fucking phone that you have. That's the problem. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. But it's it's a fucking stupid phone. That's all it is. Yeah, your phone might be stupid, but my, my phone, phone ain't stupid. No. Yeah, when I had an iPhone, it was pretty dumb. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got this thing. It's awesome. That's why I was. Now upset. you know why Apple sues Samsung every time they come out with a new phone. Yeah. All I'm saying is. It's just a fuck. It's materialistic shit. It is until you're cut off from the world. You, you can't talk you, to nobody. Micah can. cheris, cherishes his, cherishes his, Micah cherishes whatever cell phone data and signal he gets because yeah. he doesn't get that you shit. You should at all. live in cell phone poverty. <laughs> like, <laughs> have limited connection. Yeah. Actually, no connection when it comes to that yeah. matter. When I go over your house, I get like one bar. Of like, like not even man. LTE. I feel like a Geico caveman. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I do. Oh, I'm man, so unconnected s- with the world. Like, I'm, it's a wonder I even get Amber alerts. I couldn't even like. You have no internet. I just upped my internet speed. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck. You want to run a cable to my house? <laughs> yeah. They. I, upped, I just upgraded to gig gig data. They Woo. upped ours, and uh, I didn't even ask for it. Well, I, when I had uh, with FiOS, I paid for fifty. Download fifty upload and they up they up me to one hundred for free, Ooh. but then I just upgraded from one hundred to one gig. Woo! Lot of mercy. Oh yeah, shit's quick. What now. kind of shit you streaming? <laughs> Whatever y'all fucking watch. <laughs> <laughs> I went on there one day. Five people were on that Plex server at once. Jeez. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, you need it. <laughs> you, got, you guys got me paying one hundred bucks, one hundred and ten bucks a month on damn internet. Should <laughs> <laughs> <Good God. laughs> I like pitch in, get the man some Taco Bell or something? Yeah, bro. Fuck. I'll give you some money. Speaking of Taco Bell, them cocksuckers are taking Frito burritos off. What? Oh, dude, that cheesy um, che- um, the grilled cheese burrito. I want to try that. It's pretty I, good. I, I, I'm I, gonna get one on the way home. I've already had one, and let me warn so you. So have I. It comes with sour cream on it. Yes, I was gonna yeah, warn I, you. I'm okay with that. I was gonna warn you. Don't get the sour cream because I ordered it just how. What it else came. is on it? What is totally on this thing? Uh, Grilled cheese. It looked great on the commercial. It has, it has beef Nacho in it. Cheese, uh, cheese. Liquid cheese. Shredded, shredded cheese. cheese. Uh, Fritos. It has Fritos in it. I'm okay I with that. I think it did. And it has Fritos in it. Then it's rolled. 
a it has sour rolled. cream in it too. Yeah, it has sour cream. I get that. Yeah. I like sour cream. But it's, it's rolled. The burrito is rolled up, and then they and sprinkle cheese on the burrito before and then they, they press it. Yeah, they like. Okay. They like. Cook See, it. and if they have uh, an option with the Fritos, I'm okay with it. It has Fritos in it. I'm okay with them getting rid of the beefy crunchy one then, and oh. as long as they have an option. The difference is it's not is beefy crunchy. It's cheesy no. or it's Frito, uh, beefy Frito. Beefy Frito. Well, you know, right. yeah. beefy Frito. Jesus but Christ. My, the, the problem I got with that, though, is the beefy Frito is a dollar. This grilled cheese is like three something. Yeah. It's just, it, well, it's not uh, a full time thing either. Yeah, it's going to be like limited. So like, not just just Taco Bell like, dropped their like, dollar menu? Basically, yes. Mm-hmm. A lot of them did. They yeah, got I think I heard they got rid of the potato products. Yeah, potato. The beefy Frito Burrito and the Nacho Grillers, which my dad got. But the beefy Frito Burritos, fucking cheese. It's the same Fritos thing. Fritos yeah. and beef. It's the same thing that comes in everything. <laughs> yes. Like Literally, it's all the same stuff. They just they get a different un- form. They get unlimited Fritos because they're owned by the same people. Yeah. The people who make Doritos. It'd be like if they got rid of Pepsi because they said it was too expensive. Like, they make Pepsi. Well, that would be like, no, that's a terrible example. If <laughs> That would be like they have Pepsi. He cut himself off before he <laughs> That, it would be like, no, that's no. terrible. <laughs> it would actually be like. <laughs> that's a terrible example. That's like them having Pepsi, and then they said they're not making Diet Pepsi. Or they're not making Pepsi Zero or, you know, something like that. Is there a Pepsi Zero? Or is that Coke uh, Zero? It's Coke, Coke Zero, Zero, I think. Diet Pepsi. I don't get it. I don't fucking drink that shit. Whatever. Either. But you know what I'm saying. It's not like. Same thing I was no. saying. You know, you know what I'm saying. Oh, uh, well, I mean, it literally comes from the same factory. That's unless right. you said you they're just not sprinkle a little less sugar in this one. They they harvested at the Pepsi farm. <laughs> they don't harvest. <laughs> what are they harvesting? They're out there with buckets and they get it off the tree. Damn it! <laughs> they get it off the freaking Pepsi. They tree. milk the trees and they Pepsi mil- comes out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you ever milk the Pepsi from the teeth <laughs> of a tree? It's farming 101. You fucking yeah. idiot. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, apparently, John's never taken ad class. No, no. <laughs> it's the same way they make fucking wine. <laughs> <laughs> How do you not know basic farmer instinct? Fuck. And Coke has Coke berries. That's why what's happened at Paul and Winnie's house. They just had terrible soil. That's why we didn't grow bush lights. <laughs> <laughs> we I planted plant, bush I lights. I planted bush lights in their damn yard. Not Bro, I started it and I continued it. <laughs> had terrible soil. Is that like yeah, the grass? Yeah, this shitty ass fucking soil there. Yeah, well, you're you're fucking supposed to push plant my grass out of this. You're supposed to <laughs> you're supposed to plant bush lights in dirt, not sand. You know what's funny about the grass problem. growing? Where Ross was trying to grow grass and he killed it or the weather did the water, <laughs> yeah, water. <laughs> it got watered too much. It's been fucking downpouring. Well, it, remember how I had the nice lush grass? Sorry, Micah. Yeah, it's alright. Well, uh, since our last off. podcast, since our last podcast, we had a stretch of days where we got six inches of rain. It was like literally right after our podcast. It's like an inch a day. Yeah, we got like six inches of rain Man, was, in a that's week. That's crazy for getting an inch a day. <laughs> I had beautiful grass and then it rained six inches and then all that grass washed away. Now I got dirt. Yeah. It's like the old girl on Jeopardy that said that she wanted it to snow on her uh, wedding day, but it didn't snow though. But she got ten inches on her honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> and the way she said it, she's like, "No, everybody's laughing," and she didn't get it. She's like, "Well, you know, I, I, I didn't get any snow on my wedding day like I'd planned. It was cold. It's 32 <laughs> degrees, but I got ten inches on my honeymoon." <laughs> <laughs> you should be impressed. Ten inches yeah. is a lot. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> don't be picky, bitch. <laughs> Beggars don't be choosers. That's right. <laughs> I wish I had half a ten. But did you grow grass? <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> trying to grow grass, and then mine's about grown back. It's been amazing, really. My grass won't stop growing. So. Well, yeah, you got that 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 thick shit. St. Augustine grass. Grass. I yeah. actually planted some St. Augustine sod in my backyard. Ooh, if Lord. it if it catches in that new dirt and starts growing, I'm gonna start by. I bought it from the uh, dude on the side of I uh, 98 North. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. St. Augustine. They got some more. Oh, he has a truckload of it. Every he's there every uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I might need some to fill a hole or two. See, I'm skeptical about stuff like that. You probably got some like August Street grass, not St. Augustine. Like being how it's like side of the road. It, it, might be Mexican, aftermarket. it was a Mexican guy. It might be aftermarket grass. You know, right? I'm okay if he mixed like, it up. I don't give a shit. As long as it, hey, it's better than the grass I got. <laughs> it's, <laughs> my I got ba- it's my backyard, and then I can maybe can patch a few things. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Every, it's tonight. a dollar fifty uh, a piece aside. Yeah. Everybody likes a piece. Yeah. Forty dollars filled my trunk. Oh, I don't have my phone on me. Uh, I don't need a trunk full. Oh, see, <laughs> I, I might Dude, literally, need. you could barely close my trunk. <laughs> I might need like one little, one little slash. One little 
like a slab? Pie. Like one one pallet? No. Like one little just square. Like 12 by 12 square? Just one. When well, you got a hole of. Like where the dog was digging a hole, I can oh. fill it with dirt and then put that and cut part of that off, fill that, take the other pieces where there's save little your little lawn, gap. Save your lawn clippings and throw over there and they'll catch. They'll grow. The, saw, the piece of the uh, saw are probably 12 by 24. Oh, yeah. 12 by 24? Mm-hmm. That's like, uh, uh, that's two square feet. John laughed at an image. <laughs> oh, you may laugh at another one? No. no. <laughs> oh. I, will, I will like to take this moment to do a little. That's $40 oh, worth yeah. of sod. He had a trunk, he had a trunk full of grass. That's $40 worth of sod in my Dude, trunk. Dude, you need a truck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I told you you can borrow my truck. A charger with sod all yeah, oh, in the yeah. back of the trunk. <laughs> Dude, you can borrow Four. my truck anytime. Like, I'd yeah, never dude, use Dan- it. Dude, Danielle's <laughs> truck's been sitting in the driveway. She ain't been working. Oh. Like, Speaking of that, did y'all ever snap them pieces back in, or is the carpet still peeled up? I just snapped all that back okay. in. Okay. Yeah. I never heard nothing, so I assumed you got it. Did oh, you ever yeah, find yeah. where the leak was? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Cow uh, panel was packed full of leaves to the point that it had the uh, drain clogged, so the water would fill up and run into the intake for the air conditioner. So apparently, y'all didn't check that. Never. <laughs> so. And like, we got a lot of leaves out. John brought over some McDonald's uh, I'm a good dude, burritos. Man. Yep. McDonald's brought burritos? Out. Yeah, we had breakfast. And we got <laughs> coffee, burritos. coffee, burritos. Yep. And we, we, we got her done. It was a good – and I learned something. <laughs> yeah. like we, Make sure there ain't no leaves in the, in the areas that you think they can Well, and I can, I can pop everything first, off too and also take care of it too. But at first I thought it was the drain tubes on the sunroof. sunroof. Well, lo and behold – get there and I'm like, I, like I'm not seeing the tubes and I look and it's a moon roof it's not a sunroof there's a fucking difference moon roofs are like glued in like a windshield is so yeah. they're not gonna leak if they do leak they're gonna leak around the glass oh Danielle does say it does open that opens yeah. she says no. it does she says it does no I, I told her the same Has thing she you said she ever had it said, open she says it opens no <laughs> I'm just saying I want right. to see this Mike is ever retract what I just said 26 <laughs> seconds ago <laughs> it is in fact a sunroof and not a moonroof <laughs> Mid- <laughs> Mid- Buster I don't remember whether it does or it doesn't but I know because I asked him like does this she, window open I think he said no said, it I doesn't think she says it does but when she sent the snap no. of where it was leaking I said it's got to be something with the door jam or something in that area it wasn't. Or maybe she might be talking about the slide. I, she's crazy, man. The only reason I knew what this problem potentially could have been. Because you had the same one? No. It's because <laughs> when I was fucking 10 and 11 years I've old. i heard this story. I didn't get to go to daycare, and I didn't get to fuck off and play video games. I had to ride around I in a truck. I heard this story as he's doing yes. the fucking cleaning the leaves up. I had to fucking do this shit. <laughs> but I, I, was, I was doing it, too. I was on the other side. Man. But... I did hear this story. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying you don't want to hear it again? No, I'm yeah. saying there's I've a good, there's a good, my, there's a good lesson. There's a good lesson in listening to this. Is like you said, you yeah. wouldn't learn how to do this if you didn't go with your dad and do these things. Yeah. John's like, be friends with a guy that did this. That way, he can fix your shit for a McDonald's burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Have a friend that could do everything, so I could do nothing. <laughs> no, the thing no. is, I still help. I just you clean shit up. I just don't know yeah. as I'm doing. Project and I, Manor or Janitor. <laughs> and I would much rather hang out with you guys and do it together. <laughs> yeah. But it was good. It's we, like when we hung his mailbox. <laughs> we <laughs> looked, yeah. I've never done that before. Yeah. It was me and Mike put no, a mailbox no in, idea. John drinking beer and giving us beer. <laughs> I would have I would have dug a hole and put a whole uh, post in it yeah. and then put more dirt in there. That would have yeah. been the end of that. Yeah, if I that would have worked. Straight, it would have worked. It would have worked, but it wouldn't have been like how yeah. you guys We did. should go back and see if that mailbox is still there. <laughs> I'm sure it is unless they wanted to change and it. And we yeah. already put a level on it and see if it's still square. If they – and if they – if it isn't there, they really had to work to get it out. Yes, they did. It was, it was poured a, a lot of fucking yeah. concrete, bag of concrete. Yeah. concrete down there. Oh, there's hurricane season. We were doing it, right? Um, I don't remember. I don't remember. There it's, was a hurricane recently. or back in the basketball days. Yeah. I remember that. Yep. Man, the hell no. I don't want to play no basketball. I can't now. <laughs> like, it's rough, my knees it? are fucking just, they're just hurting. My arm's fucked up. Oh, by the way, my arm. Yeah, I'm not arm. in a sling anymore. So I think our last episode. They don't even know you was. You didn't have sur- you didn't have surgery. Yeah, before. our last episode. I think. No, I just- that is even not the biggest news. No, but it's not the biggest. You news. You had a fucking kid too since our last I'm podcast. I'm not saying that's <laughs> the biggest news. We haven't even got to the kid. I'm just going by. <laughs> so can I call you Papa? John? The kid happened before the the surgery. Yes. I'm gonna call him Papa. There's John. a lot that ha- a lot's happened. 
I've they had, both watch Fox News. <laughs> I've, I've, all right, okay. Since Ross is a lot has pu- happened. Ross is pushing my topics. Well, I, I, sorry. I was just bringing up the the arm thing because I I can't play I could I can't even play I, basketball right now. I don't even think you were hurt on our last episode. I was, but I didn't go to the doctor yet. He waited for a few days after he had his child to uh, schedule a surgery. I so listened he had to, take to care the last of the kid and do diapers. I, <laughs> I listened to the last episode today that we did, and it was what Your months arm ago? Was hurting. It was like months ago. Eighteen, we had that. And at that Ooh. point, I thought. I just tore my bicep. Well, I actually tore my pec and part of my – I think I tore part of my pec and part of my bicep or had some issues with my shoulder. I don't know. They had to anchor my pec Rotator back Rotator cuff. On. But anyways, <laughs> cup. so I had to have cup. surgery, and I'm on the road to recovery. You literally had it like days after you had a child. Yes. <laughs> it happened on the day. 615 was the day Cam- Cameron was born. Six eighteen was the day I had the surgery. I mean, uh, but it's on the the original delivery day, right? Yeah. yeah. When Danielle sent the Snapchat day. of you like hunched over on the couch with your surgery, He's I'm up. like, she's like, yeah, he had the surgery. Uh, of course, he had the surgery a couple of days after he had a child. Our response was like, if only that injury happened like three months ago. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, right? <laughs> uh, ha- well, I mean, having the surgery and having him though, I the first Perfect timing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. yeah. I slept great the first few nights. You know, I did not. I did not. I felt like shit. I could not sleep because I was in a lot of pain and I was on drugs. Sorry, I can't pick up the baby. I really couldn't. <laughs> I really I'd couldn't. love to wipe his ass, but I just can't. <laughs> I think after like two, two or three days. I can't change diapers. I have my sling on. I mean, like three day, three or four days, I might have started picking them up. But the first couple of days, it was really bad. I mean, I would just, I would just sit there and have them in my lap, but I wouldn't be able to do anything. You were probably taking it worse than your wife who just fucking shoved the body out of her vagina Oof. and My you're the you're the one sick on the couch yeah. oh, <laughs> she's yeah. been hurting for nine months she had a baby and then you just had like a little surgery on your arm <laughs> yeah her pain was pretty bad <laughs> My pain was pretty bad too though <laughs> <laughs> I would have took your pain over her pain mm. ah, <laughs> yeah yeah I'm not a, I'm not about to I don't know I don't know I, I couldn't imagine something coming out of me uh, yeah, yeah exactly I'm like, <laughs> I I cringe on a big poop so no. <laughs> yeah right <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't imagine uh, pushing on a baby stitch me up dog uh, John all you do is take a poop stitch me up <laughs> you're yeah. dilated a couple meters <laughs> My hips are too narrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, like, oh, shit. Breathe, like, John, the breathe. Baby, the baby was bigger than that wine bottle, and I couldn't imagine pushing that no. motherfucking wine bottle out. Well, uh, it's tapered. As long as you start with no. this end first. But, yeah. Sometimes it, never it comes, comes out, out this end. Say, it never, the head, baby never comes out feet first. It, yeah, yeah. It, his head is mad. Like, his head was big, dude. His yeah, the baby comes out that end. But well, his head was sense. bigger than that. In re- his head was bigger than that. So, oh, I couldn't imagine. <laughs> well, couldn't it makes imagine. sense. It's so it can slide through the canal. Not if you if you, if you, it comes out leg first, you're liable to get a leg or an it arm. It doesn't hung slide up. through. A canal, How about this? Micah? Yeah, yeah, there's no slide. <laughs> there's a reason why it rips. <laughs> yeah, it forces its way out of the canal. <laughs> you think, need to watch. Just wait. Just think wait, about just it, wait. Micah. This something this big is trying to come out of something this big. <laughs> No, well, it's yeah. bigger than that, though. It's bigger know, than the bottom, but, I'm saying, but just still. <laughs> that thing down there is how flubber was made. Because it has elastic, it stretches, Elasticity. And, and it snaps back together. It's like a glove, man. All I can say is after seeing two, I'm like, God, that's... I can't, can't, you, can't you steal that thing off? Jeez. <laughs> just go ahead and put the cover over it. Yeah. Uh, you put, uh, put a manhole is cover it, in. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, his head is about as big as, as like, at least, like, the... the the, the circumf- football here, the, cir- the <laughs> circumference of the football. That's a big ass head. Like I mean, it's it's like it's about it's about like the the fucking circumference of that. Yeah, he's so pretty, he's pretty healthy, baby, too. Like he weigh like fourteen pounds head. or something. Uh, fourteen pounds. Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah. nine. Didn't that kid? Nine, isn't that kid like thirteen? Thirteen uh, years old. <laughs> he's probably like eleven, or he was eleven as last year. So he's probably like twelve pounds now. Wow, he's eating good. Oh yeah, eating good in the neighborhood. Good enough for my buddy though. Dave. I know his his first son's weight, just because it's a date. It's a date you'll never forget. Nine eleven. Never oh, forget. Yeah. <laughs> 9/11. That's a big boy. Too. So every time Dave talks about his kids, yeah, Leland was uh, he was nine eleven. He was born. Never forget. Nine <laughs> eleven. Never forget. Yeah. Uh oh. We got oh, some of that house wreck. Stenhouse. No, that's Stenhouse. Yeah, that's Stenhouse. He wrecked. The car looks fine. It's just smoking. 
Okay, oh, yeah, so the windshield tear off, so they're good. Yeah, well, that's the <laughs> fucking peep, car's on fire. Let's take a windshield tear window. off. Oh. Here, let me put this flap up. <laughs> Where are they at? They're in uh, Kansas. They'd... This is a live race, John. I don't care. Should care. I don't give a shit about racing. He's got a fire. He blew yeah. up. Blowed up on him. The only racing I care about is when Micah races. <laughs> Which hey, time, Micah. That don't happen these days. Although I am getting itchy. I do want to do it. Like, after all these go-kart races, man, I'm fired up. You Ready got fleas? Go. I got fleas. I'm itching, man. <laughs> I'm itching <itchy>. bad. <laughs> you want some Woodbridge? Oh, I got a couple beers right here. I would like to take a moment to put this sponsor on blast. Uh, this comes to you by the Woodbridge by Robert Mondavi. Uh, like Walmart wine? Uh, penis Green Geo uh, <laughs> uh, wine here. Don't drink it. It's not that great. <laughs> Like, if you like water filtered through a sock, then this is what this will do for you. Now, we've been dumping ice in here, and it's so potent that it's eating the ice. It's not even keeping it cold. And, and yeah, the, the wine is still warm. It is warm. It's toasty. Like, so, uh, just telling you right now, instead of wood bridge, just remember, would not buy again. Keep killing curly is good stuff. Yeah. That's good. The Riscato that you bought? That was yeah, that was pretty good. I, it, <laughs> yeah, when Michael opened up this uh, this one, he was like, this one doesn't fizz like the other one. I'm like, because the other one had sugar, and that was uh, what was fizzing. That one I was right like, this there. one's going to be bitter if it had no fizz to it. That one right there has got me having a little acid reflux. Acid reflux. You sure it's better than pizza? Yeah. It's probably the red the pizza. sauce, man. You're, you're not a red no, sauce guy. No, pizza's fine. I didn't realize that till I'm like, hey, I'm going to bring some pizzas over, and John's like, nah, I'm good. And then it wasn't until I got done just now. I realize that you're not really a red sauce guy, so no, I, I, I could have like, brought something else. No, the pizza's fine. I could have got some Long John Silvers or something. <laughs> Long John Silvers. No, you're good. Man, <laughs> I could have got like I don't know some some crab rangoons. Oh, I love oh hell yeah! They're back open. They're hell back yeah! Open. Panda World. Oh, they should have yeah. never closed. Of yeah, all they, places, yeah. they did close. Well, they were worried about because people they were, were hating. Backlash, man. They were hating on the China the Chinese the virus. China virus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I fucking love Panda World. <laughs> Don't worry even about it. Even though they do, they're a little expensive. You mean, no, fuck that bullshit. I love Panda World. I love Tell them to put Oh, I love them too. I love them great. Gen General style chicken. But they are a little pricey. Put your I fucking like hater blockers the Martello, on. The Martello family has been known to order some, like, Chinese food. And we only order, like, you three or four things. Order. $68. Like, good God. Yeah. You gotta learn how to order. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. God. I get the combination. <laughs> I get the combination. That's what platter. I do now. I buy two combination platters. Yeah, you can eat and I live off for a couple like, days. four days. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you get the combo platter, man. I get the combo platter, but I live off of two days. Two days. I eat half of it, plus I got the crab rangoons, so you have a couple crab rangoons. And oh, the crab rangoons I eat on the way home. But, oh. I, but I eat the entire... I just dip them in the sauce. Oh, oh yeah, sweet sour sauce. I eat the entire oh. combo platter. Like, no, no lie. I can. Hey, I can, but here's I one yeah. for you. Uh, last night, I decided, you know what? I'm going to do breakfast for dinner. Sounds great. Okay, so I'm going to make breakfast burritos. So I went to the store, got me six eggs, got me some cheese, got me some salsa, Got me some hash browns. Got me a whole pack of bacon. Go home. I cook it all up. Fuck it. He's missing the one crucial thing. Croutons? Yeah, you didn't rattle off uh, tortillas. I did get tortillas. Bam. Because right now, uh, you you know. I got a burrito with no tortillas. You, yeah, you you named off everything you got. I'm like, he, didn't, he hasn't said tortillas yet. I thought you were going to say, I cooked yeah, everything. Is that, is that a spoiler? <laughs> yeah, but no. No. <laughs> yeah. no, is it? no he, he confirmed he had tortillas. He just okay. didn't rattle them off. So I, I had like, it. All right, so I had one. I'm like, that's good. So I had a second. I'm like, man, that was great. And I'm like, there's only a little bit more. So I made three. I ate three breakfast burritos. And it wasn't until I done I realized Yay. I ate six eggs, an entire <laughs> pack of bacon, a whole <laughs> bag of fucking shredded hash browns, Hell yeah. and like a half a bag of cheese, and like a half a thing of salsa. I and feel like I'm city. watching Game of Thrones and we should be saying, shame, <laughs> shame, Hell no, that's, shame. that's impressive. It's just like I can eat a whole box of chicken yeah. on the way home. Yeah. <laughs> then you got home, it's like, fuck, what am I eating for dinner? I know. <laughs> and I'm not gaining weight, so fuck it. Keep eating. That's why you got to get the potato salad. You just eat the potato salad I don't do mayonnaise, home. though. Hey, I can't do mayonnaise. Have you been checked for worms? You could have a tape worm. I know, I did. I got, I got the fucking camera shoved all the way to my throat. Oh, god damn. <laughs> that was an experience. Let me tell you, they take you in there. Were you just eager to get it? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I can't I've wait till I'm forty. I've had an endoscopy. 
I can't wait till I'm. This right? was this was from the, the from the mouth down. No, this, this was is colonoscopy. Yeah. They went from the <laughs> butt to the mouth. <laughs> Why did they start from the mouth to the butt? <laughs> because I wasn't bleeding. Oh, out of Jimmy my mouth. Johnson. Oh, that was from. Yeah. Sorry, that's a replay. No, I would have gone from the mouth to the butt. No, not the. M- but the here's butt the thing. The that's the thing is like you're like. You, like honestly, when it was over, I didn't even know anything happened. Ah, uh, pit road like, penalty. You, don't, you didn't like, taste your a, butthole in your mouth. No. Nope. But dude, uh, <laughs> <laughs> did they really go all the way from your butt to your mouth? No, there's a spot like they got to stop. <laughs> feels like it. Why do I feel a tingly sensation in the back of my throat? <laughs> my throat hurts so bad. It, it tastes like shit. <laughs> they give me they give me a printout when I was done, and it's pictures all the way through my. We went oh. kind of cool. We went 1.7 miles through you, Micah. You saw all this shit inside you? No, there was All this shit that wasn't inside They them. put me on a three-day oh. cleanse, man. I was fucking clean. Yeah, I thought they were going to find, like, a chicken bone. And <laughs> <laughs> That's seriously what I thought. They were going to find, like, a matchbox car from when I was, like, six. It'd be, like, I thought a... you were going to say because you recreated a jackass. <laughs> no. <laughs> you stuck a... I know. Oh, that's where that went. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like a probably when I was a kid, I ate a micro machine because it was one I didn't like. And I said, I wanted a gun, so I ate a micro machine. But, no, that wasn't the case. They didn't find a chicken bone. They, they didn't, didn't find, find a 71 Dodge Charger in there? <laughs> nope. No Hot Wheels. A Hot Wheel with hot sauce. No hot <laughs> sauce. Uh, Super hot. <laughs> so hot. Sorry, Micah. No, good it's good, you. man. Like, you, you don't even care if I died or had this cancer. This one doesn't even have the name. Nope. <laughs> no. Not a bit. This one doesn't tell you the, the year and model of the car. Oh. 71 Cuda, Plum Crazy Purple? No. This is a... Say it. Don't spray it, bro. Six... It's a 69 Charger RT. 69, more like a 96. I can tell by the taillights. I can tell by the taillights. It's 96. This is a 2005 to a 2010 Dodge Charger. Oh, a lot of fucking spectrum of a, a range there. It's a 2010. Well, because the body style was the same. The only thing that was different was the taillights. Mm-hmm. Did this I tell you how I talked my way out of rehab? Which rehab? For my arm. How'd you do oh, that? Oh, you have a drug rehab or fucking alcoholic rehab. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't got no problems. <laughs> I'm like, what kind of rehab you in? No, I was just supposed to, uh, it, well, no, you're supposed to go over your stuff. I'm supposed to go to rehab too? <laughs> no. Oh, the colonoscopy th- thing? Yeah, are no. you know your story? I'm dying, so it don't matter. Let's move on to yours. <laughs> Fuck it. We well, went over Russ's Colon cl- cancer. Cl- uh, thing. <clears throat> what? Oh, right here? Yeah. You, you don't hear, you hear this is, John? It's a General Lee. A rebel car. It's a Challenger. It's a 1969 Dodge Charger. Does it come with Jessica Simpson? She was not the original. Uh, Does it Duke. come with the original? Duke. Does her hi- Are her hips broken? <laughs> Nothing I'm aware of. <laughs> 69 Dodge Charger right there. That's annoying. That's offensive. It is. It is very The roof is. I'm very offended. There's cars behind you, too. Hey. I don't want to look. I don't want to be offended. <laughs> That's the only one with the uh, rubber flag on it. So offended. Confederate flag. Confet. I just look past all of it. <sighs> it's invisible. Doesn't exist. Invisible. Erase it all. <laughs> Grab your erasers. Scrub <gasps> it away. Mm-hmm. What else we got? Oh. Uh, yep. Yeah, so, arm shit. Oh, what? My arm is doing a lot better than I doing thought it would be. a lot better. That's good. Yep, yep. I'm ahead of schedule. I told me it was a bitch. J.J. Watt would have been back after two yeah. weeks. <laughs> John was shocked I had full range. I don't have to wear my sling anymore. Like, John, you're laying on the couch gagging two weeks after your surgery. I was, J.J. Throwing, Watt, I was throwing up. J.J. Watt would be on the practice field right now. I was throwing <laughs> up. The, the day of my surgery, like when I got home that night, that I was easier. throwing up. Ugh. Throwing up. JJ Watt. Is that how you next Watt day, been on the field? The next day, because my I was throwing up so bad and so These fucked up that day before. I'm trying to talk. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, I didn't take no pain pills because my I was so three worried about feeling nothing terrible. Changed. Nothing has changed after three months. All right, go ahead, Mike. Go ahead. Go ahead. Huh? That he phone, said, he said that he phone rage dead. is still in him. <laughs> I was talking to myself. I was I was going through some. I heard you meditating. I was meditating. Go I was ahead. Me- more like menopause. Do you remember what you were gonna say? No, I don't. All right. So, anyways, <laughs> hit him with a puck. Oh no, don't hit me. That shit would hurt. Oh, it would hurt. 
I thought Bill, that, that think that was. We have the attention. Oh, I got that puck. I got that same puck. We yeah, have Ottawa. the attention span about a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> National Hockey League. This is an official game puck yeah, that was puck. not used in an official game, was it? It was not, no. No. So, uh, we got jerseys. This one was, but it was a minor league hockey game it was used in. Official game puck. Uh, I cannot read that. It's in Canadian. Hey. <laughs> It's French. Wow. Think if that thing's coming at you like. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. That knocked up out of you. Right oh, there. I, solid that, rubber. There's a reason why it takes out fucking people's teeth. That's solid yeah. rubber? Oh, that's solid rubber, yeah. Is it plastic? Dude, yeah, I do not want to fucking have a hockey Hard puck. rubber. Solid rubber. Really? Just imagine that. And they soak them in uh, frozen water. Ice. Ice water. Why? Imagine having that solid motherfucker hit you. Because it glides. Head. Hit you right in the nuts. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. That hurt. Or in the face. Well, yeah. no. They'll, they'll, even though they wear, like, shin pads, yeah. those will hit guys in the shins well, just and they'll think, break their leg. <laughs> just oh, think, though, if this bitch hits you right square in the mouth oh, you're gonna at 90 teeth. miles an hour. Every year, a puck will a, guy, a puck will ricochet off a guy's leg, a slap shot, and it'll break his leg. Ooh. Oh, my That's God. a rough game. No, sorry. That's sad that them They're guys the toughest the athletes in all the athletes of the world. They're no. no, you can't, you can't. Yeah, hockey players are the nah. Bowlers are right up there with them. Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> you see them fucking wrist splints they wear? Oh yeah, carpal tunnel, man. It's real. No, don't act like it's not. All I gotta say is hockey players are pussies. Mm. <laughs> Just trying to get beat up. <laughs> I don't know. John was getting a fight. <laughs> it, if there John, are some bad motherfuckers. If there, John there. was a hockey player, he'd be Sidney Crosby well, because he gets my, concussed. He's a prima year. donna. That's my dingle dopper. <laughs> dingle dopper. <laughs> doppler. <laughs> doffer. My doppelganger. My doppelganger. My doppelganger. <laughs> my gangbang doppelganger. <laughs> what? My twin danger, but dangle dopper. Hockey is the best live sport you can go watch. It's pretty intense. Not it's, these days. It starts back up August 1st. You can't fucking go watch it. On TV, you can. You just said it. it's the best sport to go watch I want watch to dance live. like Clint Boyer. I will say oh, hockey. Ho- watching hockey. <laughs> Look at Clint Boyer <laughs> dancing over there. <laughs> watching hockey on TV is better than watching baseball on TV. Baseball's Watching hockey in person is, the, is better than watching baseball. No, person. they need walking, to just put an end to baseball. Like Watching a live hockey game. Have you been to a hockey game, Micah? I have not, but I want to go. Awesome. It, it's the be- it, it is, n- and I'm hardcore. It's intense. Like football is Shit's one A for me. Hockey is one B. For but me. the Lightning's Ooh. Lightning's a good crowd. It's a good well, yeah, scene. But good I, team, like, I know scene. people like my brother. Who, he went to a, a game in Carolina, and it was no different up there. It doesn't matter if you're a fan of the team or not. A hockey game is the best live I, sport you'll well, ever go to. Well, let's go to a fucking hockey yeah. game, eh? I will say, it's act- literally it's action oh. packed the entire time. Let's do it. I went to like a minor league hockey game in Tennessee or whatever, and all yeah. they did was fight, and it was awesome. Like when we go to uh, to games in Lightning, we buy the cheapest ticket we can buy. Perfect. And then as soon as the doors open, we rush in. We go up to the third level. There's buy a Coors. There's a Coors Light party deck or Coors Light bar, and we just stand at that bar Hell the yeah. whole night because next to the bar there's a rail. Yeah. On the third level, you just sit there and you look down the whole time. Noise. We, we never go to our seats. Noise. That's it. I'm in. Like, if we, if we want to go to a hockey game, let's do it. Because it's it indoors. It ain't going to yeah. get rained out. Nope. It ain't going to be a lightning storm. They have lightning there. <sighs> they do have lightning. They do. They have a, a real lightning thing. Yeah, they have machines up in the thing that make lightning you're gonna have, You're going to have to wear a mask. Uh, <laughs> no, they, they won't be. Actually, you can't drink beer they won't, they, they won't be. They're playing up in uh, Canada. There's hubs. NHL is doing hub cities like basketball. Something I think else. It's Vancouver and Toronto are the two hub cities for hockey. S- stupid. Baseball right now is the only one that's going to have uh, games in their own stadium. What's football going to do? I don't. I don't know if they're going to get to play, man. Well, I know like a lot of teams. Uh, New York. The New York teams already said no matter what, there won't be any fans at our games. There's some teams I've already told, te- uh, hey, told their I mean, fans. Yeah, no. it's out, leave it up to the state. The, yeah, that's what that's what yeah. the NFL is doing. Yeah, leave it up to the state. If they don't want oh, we're fans. good. We can watch Tampa games. But then you got uh, the Toronto Blue Jays. They're playing. They have to play in a different team's uh, stadium this year. Why? Because the city of Toronto. Oh, they won't. Yeah, they they, they weren't approved to play. Start playing. So, I know that they applied no. for Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh said no. Pittsburgh now they're talking Blue about Jays. possibly uh, Baltimore. Baltimore Blue Why Jays. Why wouldn't you do that to bring revenue to your city? There ain't nothing else going Ask on. Ask your city of Pittsburgh. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Yep. Mm. 
That's what my my whole thought on it. I'm well, like, I assume they they wouldn't have fans there, so. If you're not a hot spot and you're not shut down. But in baseball, I think they're just playing within their division or their regions. So the yeah. Northeast yeah. teams are playing the Northeast. Well, South. I mean, you try to keep it where you're at. Yeah. But I mean, like. That's gonna be if you want, really wanted to to bring it down, you could go to your spring training location if you really want. I mean, really well, they don't want they don't want to come down to Florida. Well, they don't want to, but I mean, you could try. I mean, if you really had to, we're still we're still wide open. Well, Florida, Texas, and California—they're not going to come down here. I was surprised the MLB didn't, or not MLB basketball didn't move. Oh yeah, they to Disney. No, basketball yeah. brought them here. Yeah, like, we basketball uh, originally them hockey us. was talking about going to Vegas, and then Vegas sparked back up. They're like, nope, mm. we're not going back to Vegas. That's crazy, man. All this shit's crazy. It really I'm, is. I'm man. over all of it. Mask wearing, drinking, just a bunch of shit. That's what it is. They got a rat problem. Who? It's that commercial. Oh, I was about to say, yeah, you got a rat yeah. problem, bro. I didn't even see one. Mm. I think the band's name is yeah, Rat. Yeah, the band's name is Rat. It's like, yeah, but we uh. have a minor rat problem. And it's that band in their, in uh. their basement. No, you just tell them to fucking <laughs> get out. Geico does have some good commercials. They do. The Caveman. Um, the Squirrels. The, uh, the Woodchucks. The Woodchucks. You damn Woodchucks could check them out wood. <laughs> um, the Caveman. Um, <laughs> the Woodchucks. Yeah, the wood squirrels, the squirrels, <laughs> the gecko, the gecko. Although that rat thing, farmers, farmers. Oh, is what good. about that duck? Damn. Farmers only. No, uh, <laughs> the farmers commercials. Like we know a thing or two because we've seen a thing. Uh, like the lemu emus. Yeah, lemu emu with Doug. Yep. Fucking Doug. Lemu emu and with Doug. Doug. <laughs> Take my hand. I can save you. <laughs> Thousands on auto insurance. I want a pet emu. Pet emu. A spitting emu? It's a big ass bird, right? No, they're a flightless bird. They're like, it's like an tall, ostrich. But they're yeah, fucking aggressive. Yeah, like an ostrich. They fucking chase people and all that. Like an ostrich. Like an ostrich. Like an ostrich. Like a big ass ostrich. Spell ostrich. Ostrich. I don't really want to spell right now. <laughs> I know it starts O S T and don't try, ends to, don't try to take advantage of me, Micah, right now. I wouldn't do that. I'm not trying to think. Trying to Ostrich. Put, trying to put me A U S T R. There is no A. D G E. Ostrich. It starts with O S T. I I already know Micah has a hard time spelling it. <laughs> fucking cocksuckers called me out for typing slow the other day. They, they fucking they would give Micah the hardest time. They're like, oh, here comes a novel. I'm like, fuck <laughs> off. Uh, and it's and literally it, two sentences. Okay. It's just okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, cool, man. Thanks. <laughs> no, I'll send him a gift I'm like, ta 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 day. Like, <laughs> cool. <laughs> I don't know. If, if there's really, if you have to actually have any real thought and you're actually working, it does take him because he's thinking about what he's going to put in his email, which you should. I should. I or your I, message. But I like if my, it's like something stupid that doesn't matter, take forever. I'll Dude. put K, fuck, F, U, do, do, do. Here's the thing. I won't put that. But I spent most of my life flying off of the handle with my first instinct. I turned over a new leaf the last 11 months. It's really to easy where to think before I, you do. I seriously, I think about everything before I send it. That's right. But it it's takes a me good a little practice. while to send emails. Yeah. Because it's one of those, like you said, you're trying to not be a fucking dick. You don't yeah. want to be But I'm asshole. being a dick. I was a little bit of one this morning, and I caught myself. I'm like, ah, I probably shouldn't have said that. You need to address – you need to get what you need to get across. Like, so if you need to accomplish a goal, that needs to be first. Second, then you, like, kind of address the issue, find it, and then try to bring a solution to it or something. But yeah. you got to have a purpose to your, your email. That's but why you I can't told be just a complete talking about asshole. One of the bosses at work. Well, gifts are funny. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which one are we on right now? Emails. Okay, email. That's why I told one of my bosses at work. But you're or one of the higher-ups at work. I was like, I always feel like, especially now during the pandemic, I'm the person that always says, no, it can't be done. He was like, huh. Eh. Someone needs to do it. <laughs> yeah. He's like, because no one, no one tells these people no. So no, because they laugh. He's like, well, could we do this? Could we do this? With a particular, with a particular room that was like purpose built, they want. Hey, could could it do Zoom? No, it can't do Zoom because it's built for this. Could it do this? No, we can't do that. Could we add this? No. I'm like, it's a purpose built room that can't be changed from 
from what it is. I told the guy, I was like, it always seems like I'm the person that always says something can't be done. He was like, man, yeah, that's can't, fine. Can't's the real C word. Yeah. Does it have a monitor? It actually has three monitors in there right now. Does it have Wi-Fi connection? It does. Does it have Zoom on an application on not there? The, not the uh, uh, opposite side. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, if, it, I mean, if it's got Wi-Fi, it's got an app, and it can download apps, then yeah, fuck, sure. Inmates can't have it <laughs> internet. <laughs> For inmates, <laughs> then sure. <laughs> but if it's a judge to Skype another judge in another state or something like that, No, sure. that's not how it is. But, you know, you got your own processes and procedures. My, for the since April, my answer has been no for everything. Well, and another thing too is security things. How secure is it? We're not worried about that. Uh, that it's just I tell, it's like I've been telling people no since April, and it's been awesome. No, no. no Could this be no. done? No, we can't do that. Sorry. This I'm the cool. opposite. I've do been a yes man. I've been trying. Everything's in yes. Can you do this? Yes. I say yes for for all the other things except for that one specific room that I'm talking mm. about. That it, one room is no. It all depends on what it is, like Ross was just saying. <sighs> like, I had one person uh, send me a message on uh, Jabber. Hey, can you turn up this what microphone? What is that? It's a uh, chat. Is it like Cisco Farmers Jabber. Only? No, it's a uh, Cisco Jabber. Cisco Thong Song? It's a, it's a IM program that it's also like integrates with my phone. I no. am a Jabber? Skype is terrible. Like Teams? I teams am? is terrible. Teams sucks, too. Oh, that's all. It is Cisco's uh, chat feature. But it also links to our phones. So like when my phone rings, it shows Thong up my computer, so I can pick it. I can pick it up on my phone. I can dial people. Love when people go. Yeah, and the Cisco calls. I can pick shit up from my computer. I can call you from my computer and all that. I love it when the booty go. It's all. It's a chat feature built into our phone interface. Baby, make the booty go. But people would send me a chat. Hey, uh, can you turn this microphone? I'm like, no, you need. I miss Cisco. I told him, like, you need to tell the judge to speak into the microphone. Did you put white noise on? Haven't done that lately. Oh. White noise. White noise. You flip a switch. Oh, yeah, cool. Oh, it's so that they can have like a private conversation and people in the corner. Oh, so it here. doesn't echo and yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They do that at work. Yeah. They have that at ours. Like it's just it's a loud. Yeah, it sounds like air perforating. Mm. Yep. And you really don't notice it, but it does dampen down like the echo and. Oh yeah, like me and you could whisper, but someone like ten f or fifteen feet away. Yeah. Can't hear us. They say it increases productivity. We do it uh, for like private conversations and all that. Yeah. Keep them private. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I work from home tomorrow. Yeah, me too. Meaning no. I, I don't do not. I'll be watching TV no. all day tomorrow. No. I go to work because I will be more productive at work. No. I've actually I've been pretty productive working. I'm productive. So you're saying like you can be working from home, but you don't you won't work from home. Correct. What is wrong with you? Well, mm. here's a couple situations. With what I kind of do, I actually have to work on the real device. So I do have to be Excuses. there. Plus, people ask me to do things because they like, hey, I need you to power, power Because they this. know you're or going in when no one else is, so they're contacting you. Well, they would, they contact me anyways. So well, I'm so involved with a lot of it. And that's why I respond to them. I was like, well, you can walk over there. So you're that. willing to do that. So if I just want to stay home, like, Hey man, I got 42 test cases to run. Can you yeah. hit all these buttons for me yep. <laughs> for all 42 cases, and I'll just scrape the results. Like I got people that. at work are saying, "Man, I need. I can't wait to go." I'm like, it's "You like my like I told it's my different when it's I told like my coworker, I'm like, engineering they're telling you like to that. stay home. I work in engineering, so you check check this, do this. Mm -hmm. You need to have people to do that shit for you, like I do. Micromanager. I do. Yeah. Yeah, I, but I'm 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 all over the place. Because you choose to be. You don't have to be John. Hmm. Nope. I don't know. John's I, important in his role. He really is. I know what I need to do. Yeah. And the reason, I need to stay home as much the as I reason, can. The, all right. So <laughs> out of everybody that's on our team, there's only three people that volunteered to come in. And two of them only volunteered to come in two days a week, whereas I'm there every day. So I'm a, I'm available to our team for anything but every they don't know single is, day. You got a newborn kid, and you need to get the hell out of the house. <laughs> even if I didn't, even if I, even if there was still, it's better for me to be there because if your wife wasn't home every day, if your wife and kids <laughs> weren't home every day, would you work at home more often? I probably would. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna deny. That's, I knew that answer when I asked the question. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Are your wife and kids the reason why you but, are in fact going to work? But I would, I would still be at work more than I would be at home. 
So you'd be at work at three days Four instead of five, five days. <laughs> yeah. No, at first I didn't like the work from home deal. But oh. It's starting to wear on me. I, I, I'm starting to kind of like it. For like the first month, I was actually like working from home. But now for the last two months... I just like I'll get an email say, "Hey, can you check this for me?" I'll I'll get on my computer I'm, and I'll do the spreadsheet. I'm just more and awake, man. When I know there's gonna be human interaction True. at any I point. Do, at I, any point, I took I a nap. I point. took on my nap on my couch at two o'clock. I do <laughs> miss that point. I miss it whenever miss I'm working from home, but at the same time, it keeps you alert. Like I'm at I work miss the social interaction, not the actual work. I also sit in a lab where I don't have to sit because if I'm at my desk, it's just kind of I'm just I'm tucked away. About myself, yeah, it's a good thing for certain thing tasks that I need to take care of. But I sit purposely where I know people are gonna be walking by, so I have to remain alert. Mm-hmm. Because if I don't, I'm just gonna be just kind of like just. All right, well, I'm just gonna get sidetracked here. I'll get sidetracked here, where I know I have to be on task when I'm around other people. I don't, so it's like don't I'm, care for. I don't mind if we're in the same pandemic for like the next three and a half yeah. years. Three and a half. <laughs> yeah, oh, if I could work one day a week at work and I'm stay gonna, home the other four days and work. I'm gonna be productive no matter what I do, but I just find things that work better for me. Mm-hmm. I do the same thing at home I do at work. Yeah. I try to. No, I don't do that. There ain't no way I can do that. Actually I work I work more in the one or two days I go in during the week than everybody else does mm-hmm. the rest of the week. I get like questions all the time. I feel so, like uh, I give a fair effort. Oh, yeah, the one day I'm in at work and one or two days I'm in the a- actual office, I do more work in those two day- one or two days than the rest. Of- everyone else does the rest of the week. No, nope. I'm doing good with it. Like I said, like, it kind of worked out to where, like, I was just got done with my, all my training. Like, the person I had to train, like, they, the last couple months, they kind of, kind of, like, put on an island, like, because then we got sent home. And they're yeah. like, you're still, you don't really know what yeah. to do. You just got enough to be dangerous. Yeah. Like, and I was thinking, like, if that was me, I'd be like, fuck. fuck. <laughs> yeah. Like, I would not yeah. know. I would not be comfortable at all. Well, that'd be more incentive to come in as much as possible. Like, yeah, but. That would be me. Because that I way. I can't work at home if I'm going in. <laughs> well, it's. <laughs> but at that same time. Like, you want to yeah. be, like, you want to make sure you understand all your responsibilities and be, like, comfortable with what your tasks are. But at that. So it's that, like if, if you have, if you can actually be on site with the person and actually go through stuff, that would make you feel better. But that's the thing. At the same time, projects shut down, too. Yeah, and, like, really the only down. way to learn this stuff is to get in it and actually do it. Actually do it, yeah. Yes. So, like, you can go over, like, you know, negative scenarios, but until you actually but get into there it, there could have been some type of on site training that could have been accomplished during this time where he sure. could have sat at a device with somebody, social distancing, and basically going over all right, this, An is, entire this is like a whole project. Here's all the tasks that are required. You can still send the same emails out to the same group and just sure. basically BS everything mm-hmm. or legit do it, mm-hmm. you know, and just. Say, hey, can you please validate the state on this? Put everything that's on here and then go through a whole real scenario of, but I mean, it's but all kind of how it is. I mean, that's the thing too, with like our spot is like, you don't never know everything. Like there's always something you're learning. Like it's always something. Yeah. You learn your way through the shit and like, that part don't bother me. Like I'll figure it out, but it, uh, that's one thing I try to do is I try to actually try to learn something every, new every day, but it's not like I'm intentionally going out, but I try to recognize when I do learn something. New. Yeah. So it's like whenever it's like I'm very thankful for learning that information. So I like try to express that when I do come mm. across something very Same helpful. Same way. Same way. I, I try to learn something new every day. Not I that do I too. do. Not that I do, but whenever it is valuable, I try to express it. Because mm-hmm. then people express more information to you because they know that you appreciate right. it. Right. And so I'm the same. More that and way. I'm that way too. Like, if I'm gonna help somebody, if they're willing to accept the help and listen, I'll help them all day long. But yep. whenever they get to the point where they ask you for help, and then they either a don't do what you told them to do when you're trying to help them, b they don't listen to everything you got to say, and they got it figured out, that starts getting frustrating. And it's or like, or they go behind you and ask somebody else. Yes. And then it's like, <laughs> why waste my time? 
Like yeah. if if you're not wasting my time, I'll help you all day long. But if you waste my time, I'm gonna get frustrated with you, and then eventually <laughs> I'm not gonna help that's you do annoying shit. is when you give someone an answer and then they credit that there's their own. Like they <laughs> they knew it themselves when they didn't actually know it. Who and did that? I, I'm not gonna. There's been people that have done. <laughs> there's been people that have done things that's like that. That's not cool, man. It's not. But they that what they do is they'll get an email. Someone's asking them a question. They will ask you a question. And then you'll give them an answer, and then they'll respond back to the emails like they knew the answer. And instead of discredit, like they're like, "Hey, I just, I uh, here's the answer to your question. By the way, I confirmed you know, with this person. This, this person has more information if you need to follow up with anything. Per my last email. Yeah, or like try to CC them on there and be like, hey, you know, or like try to give credit or be like, uh, even by the way, be like, hey man, I responded back, told them. This is what it is. Or you know what I mean? But some people just, they're real, like, they try to play it off like they knew it, like, all along. And me, me, me. Yeah. Me. It's some, it all depends on what it is. If you need a quick answer and someone's like, hey, what's this? And you just respond to what the answer is, that's cool because mm-hmm. you're just trying to get the situation resolved. But when it's, like, whenever you're like, I figured this out or I did mm-hmm. this and this and then really it didn't come from you, it's not cool. Live talk with John. Yeah. <laughs> the just say, oh, oh, yeah. You know, you know. Speak, speaking of that, remember we used to do the lawnmower minute? Yeah. <laughs> I got a lawnmower minute update. Oh, you already told me about this, yeah. yeah. I don't minutes. know if I told you. What? Lawnmower minute update. Here we go. All right, <laughs> boys and girls. So, all right, this big orange son of a bitch has been giving me this hard time. I put it up there on the dang uh, Facebook Marketplace about, I don't know, four, five, five, Your six, Kubota? seven, eight, seven, five, eighty, five, nine, 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 nine. Yeah, like six, seven, the six of decks. Yeah, six de- the six decker. <laughs> I put it up there for sale, and finally, you know, I had some wiener ticklers coming out trying to tell me, you know, they're going to get this mower for a lot less than they want to offer me, like $2,500. And I said, no, I ain't going to take it, so then guess what? I held off and I didn't take $2,500. So another guy called me up last Saturday. He came out there on Saturday and he looked at it and he said, you know what? I got to have it for three grand. I sold it for three grand, put it on the trailer, and it was gone. So that's you're saying because you held on to your nuts, you made an extra 500 That's right. Because I held on to my basket, I got my basket full. I made <laughs> yeah, extra 500 yeah. bucks. From the same guy? Same guy. So same guy that said he wouldn't pay $25. No, 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 different guy. Okay, different okay. guy. The other, like, guy the, the other guy told me I wasn't being generous. And I said, I got it for sale for 3600 well, He beat you up on it. That's what I told him. I said, dude, I'm meeting you closer to the middle on yeah. your side. What do you mean I'm not being generous? He's like, well, this is all I have. I said, not my problem. Right, here, yeah. Here's your stance on it. Quit being you, poor. And you, said 30, more you said 36, right? That's my original starting. Okay. Now, did you put money into it? Uh, yeah, I lost money Boy, on this. Yeah, right. Okay. Look okay. at all exactly. money into it. Exactly. How many times did you rebuild three? that bitch? <laughs> but let me, but you lost 600 initially, plus what you put into it. So. He had to buy a second lawnmower because that lawnmower <laughs> exactly. was broken. My point exactly. My point exactly. I lost, <laughs> I lost roughly 1400 on How this. How much did the second game. lawnmower cost? Four hundred dollars. Okay, that was right there. It's four hundred dollars. <laughs> but the this, the the second mower I got, I can sell today for fifteen hundred, no problem. Like, and I maybe got a couple but hundred dollars. Why could you do that? Because you put into it. Because you didn't drive into the lake. That's why he can sell that <laughs> yeah. second lawnmower. Because I rebuilt it. Because <laughs> it has air in the tires. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now the little one looks good now. So I'm down to one mower. I don't. So you got have... a lawn service now? No, not yet. Um, but oh yeah, the, just now I'm starting to get grass after you uh, leveled I mean, out. Most of the yard is still, bad. you know, I what didn't get to. It's just the backyard, that and around the pool area. Yeah. And I you put some new cool. landscaping in out front. How is it around the net, around the mailbox? Uh, does a great job. If I put <laughs> a new, new mailbox, mailbox in, yeah. <laughs> the new, new mailbox is square posts. Yeah. Yeah. The thing that drives me <laughs> crazy and it's like still mind boggling is. People pay people to come out and make sure their yard is growing and is green. Like, you're paying to make sure you have to right. have work for someone to come and cut it. Honestly, because well, they're paying someone to cut if it. I right had good- now, <laughs> right now, Ross is willing to pay somebody because he killed his grass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, if but I it's had, crazy if I- that you're paying someone to make sure your grass is green and growing. It, no, That's honestly. Have someone else come and cut it. Like, do you? Oh, so, like, no. no. You don't pay Because he's the one person that has a shitty ass yard. And <laughs> My yeah. yard the is rest decent, the but there is some no. spots. That, but my yard is not the worst yard. It's not the best, though. It's not the best, and it's not the worst. I'm not winning the awards, but I'm also not the fucking <laughs> not the name awards. where you're like, come the fuck on. <laughs> if, I, if I had good grass, I'd pay for a, a company to come out and <coughs> weed it and weed it. Because what, they, what they're doing is they're filling it out, making it better. 
I, I, would, I would totally, if, yeah, I would totally. I pay get, to I that. get you want a decent yard because, and it also increases property value when everybody in the neighborhood I'm not worried about is that. clean. I'm all about the looks of it. You know, but it's the looks about it also helps everybody else. I don't give a fuck about everybody else. And it helps you too, though. If your fucking, if your crackhead neighbors weren't crackhead neighbors, uh, your oh. house would be worth more. My I, lawn service isn't going to affect. Or isn't gonna but change say that. you go to sell your house. Say, say that. That neighbor wasn't there, and you, the other couple houses that are around it are they increase their own. Well, property I can value. tell you, it increases house, your value. The house right next to the crack house sold for one hundred eighty-nine thousand dollars. Okay, so or, that, when, when I bought here? my yeah, the house buy, next door, and, and get, that house next door was one hundred eighty-nine thousand dollars. And dang, by the way, the old rod up the ass. Oh, that hold house on, is beautiful. Hold on, hold on, say. By the way, that helps you. It's all brand new. That helps you. I bought my house for eighty. That crackhead, that crackhead house does not help you, no. but that house that just sold for that. Helps yeah. you. I'm not, worried wow. about, I'm not worried about the surround. I'm, uh, I'm living here until the day I die. I look like the crackhead in my neighborhood. Cross. I, I got a trash can that's been out front <laughs> full of rocks. Ross. Your neighbor had a crooked ass mailbox for a while. <laughs> Ross, you mm, could have. Do. You could have a shit ton of cash whenever you want to sell. Dude, I'll never wait till you're about ready to retire when you don't want to work anymore. And then by the time I retire, my house will be paid off, John. Ross, hey, I'm man. You. Do you, like I got a room for rent. Dude, your your roommate poor pays more for rent than I pay for my mortgage. Ross, say That's you have guy. say you have <laughs> ten year. You think you have ten years left in your life, but you know you can triple or your. John, your I only home. got twenty years left on my mortgage. I've already paid ten years on my mortgage. Well, how much do you think? How long do you think you're gonna live? <laughs> more than twenty years. <laughs> okay, so you write John, out your I'm mortgage. John, only thirty five years old. You write man. out Fuck. your mortgage. <laughs> You write out your mortgage, but your last 10 or five, like the 10 solid years you think you're going to have left with your life, quality life, you sell your house. If I'm it's already worth, there, John. <laughs> sell that bitch for quadruple what you no. paid for it, if that's what the value is. Because you're, you're going to make a lot of money. Cause when I, would you make almost your mark, du- I would make almost double on my, but on my say, house. But say 20 years from now, you could triple or quadruple what you In 20 years, John, my house would be paid off. So I would be living in a house for free. I know, but you would sell it plus some. But I, why, Do you hear why, what I'm saying, Micah? Do you why hear sell a house when I don't need to sell a house? I've been seriously Because honest. you would have – you know for a fact you're going to die within a certain amount of time. Yeah. Because you're not going to live forever. So uh, I need so to buy a new sell, house so no, I can, somebody can inherit you, my bills on my will? <laughs> you don't have to buy a new house. What I'm saying is you sell Ross your bought a new house, house three years before you died. You basically died. made a shit ton of money on the house that you bought. It was basically an investment. I saved a and shitload of money rent, on the house I didn't rent, buy. You rent a cheap ass fucking place, but you're balling out in your final years. I'm balling out my final years because I, my house is paid off when I was 50 years old, John. But you're not always gonna be working. That's my point. Uh, at 50, I'll still be working. I'm I'm not saying 50 though. If you think yeah. you're gonna be fine at 50, then at keep, 50, keep my house will be working. paid off. Ross, you're not getting my point, man. I I, I do get your point. What I'm saying is. Why sell a house I don't need to sell when my house will be paid off when I'm 50 and I'll be working for another 12 years making money and not paying a mortgage? You wouldn't be paying another mortgage. That's my point. That's my point. <laughs> Here's my point. If you know you got a year left, sell your fucking house, you would have $189,000. Why you'd be rent? Paying, you'd be paying $1,000 a month, 12 grand, by the way. Why and you rent have, something? You would have a hundred and fucking sixty thousand dollars for a year. But why, why sell my house just to pay rent on something when my house is going to be paid off? Because you might not have a hundred and eighty grand in your pocket. I won't have a hundred and eighty grand in my pocket when I'm paying rent <laughs> for no you reason. You would. You would sold your house. You're not. You don't have any. Your house is paid for. So if you sold it for a hundred and eighty <laughs> and it's paid for, you're getting a hundred and eighty. Right, but that money's gonna end up going towards my rent, which would be a thousand a month. So technically, uh, say yeah. twelve grand yeah. for one year. Why is pay a thousand a month if I want to pay twelve? Because then you would have a hundred and something thousand dollars. But you're still gonna be spending that money on something. <laughs> exactly, you're gonna die. In you're ten, gonna die. In ten, ten years. Out. I'm you're not gonna, gonna die. Yeah, in ten years. I'm not gonna die at fifty. <laughs> As I say, he's still cheaper to keep the house for a few more years. 
than to than to pay rent for yeah. ten years. That would be like me right now selling my car. Because my in five years, years, like say in you five have years, a terminal he can get cancer more money. or something. You but you know. said he's gonna live ten years. I'm gonna go out right now my and point sell is, my if you car. You're gonna die. So I can go in out ten years, right? Five years. Okay, sure, five years. Five years. Your you shit's know what? Paid for I'm gonna you. go out and sell my car right now. Just so I can make money off my car to go buy another car and make a monthly payment with the money that I just sold my car for. What's the point of saving if you're going to fucking die? Why sell it and pay more mo- start paying money out of my pocket if I'm going to die? But you would have a lot more in your pocket. And if you only know you're going to live for a year and you have – you didn't – all right, say you have – <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, with this. yeah, I'm yeah. I'm yeah so you're, you're talking you. to yourself. I'm so <laughs> mad at you. You have a you have a disease, Ross. You have no money. I, I understand. Your house is paid for. You sell your house. You pay your fucking twelve grand for the year. It doesn't fucking matter anyways because you're gonna die within the year. Now okay. you have a hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Me dying had nothing to do with this original okay, conversation. That, that makes more sense. <laughs> when you like, like I understand what you're saying, but your logic wasn't on. At first, he was well, going to live for. At, at, <laughs> at first, first, I was live for like another 30, 40 years. years. It doesn't yeah. matter, even if it was ten years. No, ten yeah, years, it wouldn't matter. Geez. It doesn't make sense to sell now <laughs> if he's going to die in ten years. Yeah. It makes sense for him to sell in five years five, because yeah, less. Yes, the because what he would pay in soon, rent. If you know for a fact you're going to die with a very short time. And your shit's already paid for. It. Sell your fucking shit. Yeah, originally it was. I was fifty years That's old. That's what I was trying to get. Yeah, he never, to he never told me I was dying in ten years. Whenever oh, we started, God. <laughs> but your math wasn't adding up yeah. on the ten year. You know plan. what I'm saying, guys. You're I'm telling like, me when I get fifty years old, my house is paid off to sell uh, it for no. no reason. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying that at all. But you have money in your pocket that you have no. to use to spend on your new house. <laughs> no, because <laughs> your luck is you fucking sell it at fifty and you live to a hundred and twenty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> John's I, a fucking. <laughs> I had a mortgage my whole goddamn life. Yeah. <laughs> no, but if you know for a fact you are dying and you only have a set lot of uh, years, there's no other what years. There's nothing around it. Well, I hate to bring the news to you, John. 99% of the people who die don't know three when? and a half years. No, ahead but of there's time a lot of people. Die. There's a lot of people that say they have less than a year or something like that. And, and they also live for ten more years. Not always. Car crashes. No, no but there's day. there's something on that, that show. Are not me and Mike were watching before you got here. Uh, the Lost Tracks thing. Lost Tracks. The guy at one of the tracks, one of the guys who showed them around, I found on a YouTube video that they did after the fact about the show. That guy who did the tour. Ten years ago, he was told he had less than a year left to live because well, he had cancer. He's outlived, and it. he's ten years into doing chemo and all that stuff. And he, he probably just treats every day like it's gonna yeah. be his last. One day he will be right. Yeah, I'm just gonna live my Ten life. Ten years ago, they told me he was gonna die in less than a year. Well, guess I mean, what? And, you, you and that motherfucker me. sold his house that was paid off. Uh-huh. <laughs> Did he really? <laughs> Has been paying rent ever since. <laughs> For real? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I was like, that's a rare example, yeah, Ross. That guy got but, screwed. Because <laughs> <laughs> if it was me, you told me I had to let. I'm balling the fuck out. I'm making sure my Got my kids. I'm making sure my kids are set and they're good. Oh. But I'm balling the fuck that out. I'm living my house. fucking life, and, I, and I'm sure that's happened. It's all about with, quality of life, yeah. too, man. People with short, short diagnosis has probably gone out and like borrowed a bunch of money and ran up a bunch of debt and stuff, mm. and then got themselves in trouble when they didn't die. I got well, another fact why you should not listen to John. This was the same guy who all he did for like two and a half, three weeks, almost a month, was talk, try to talk us in to buy Bitcoin. Oh! Wow. <laughs> hold on, hold on, you hold did. on. Hold on, hold on. I did. Hold on. But hold you on. couldn't. You hold tried, on. but yeah. you couldn't. By the and way, then hold on. Like, you got to get in Bitcoin, then Bitcoin crashed. Hold on, hold on. No, <laughs> with this COVID bullshit, there is a real no, chance no, that John, we know. No. Bitcoin there is a was, real chance that it Bitcoin, goes completely no, digital. I promise. No. Because everybody wants stop to. watching Fox News. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> you, the, I'm you and t- your dad need to stop. Telling you, <laughs> there's a real chance they try to take away our fucking currency no. and they try to make everything touchless and ca- Christ, like cashless. John. If it's no. cashless, then Bitcoin and all that bullshit could come back. What am I gonna do with my cash currency? now? <laughs> my God. I want my money and I want it now. It could be like t- turn in whatever you have so you, it's accounted for so you can actually Fuck buy them. John's a conspiracy. They I don't even saying. know what I have. Who's to say they don't say that? <laughs> Who's to say because of the, oh, they're worried about diseases and viruses that they don't say it's a completely cashless That's society. That's not why they're taking So if whatever you want, whenever you, if you want to purchase something, it has to be accounted for. So please turn in all your Fuck currency. That. How do you pay the neighbor kid that comes over and like. You won't. 
You'll be all fucking. How do you tip a stripper? You'll you'll take your phones and you'll <laughs> you'll you'll fucking do like a PayPal thing. You'll You're just gonna, send it to them. What are you gonna do? Is scan your phone through a stripper's crack? Hell no. yeah. You'll be PayPal. So, so when you want to when you want to make it rain when you gotta make it rain oh, you're gonna have to hit an up button. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make me an app for the phone. It's gonna call the the pink wallet, and it's gonna be for strippers so they can collect their dollars. So no one's actually touching so, them. Yeah. And so it's it, not it's so, not dirty money. So when you're sitting, that's almost brilliant, Mike. So like you're sitting there and the guy wants to throw a dollar up there, right? He just goes, make it rain with his cell phone. He just goes, <laughs> yeah, he swipes, he swipes up. up. Swipes yeah. up. He swipes his phone, Mike. Wait a minute, is, John. You're supposed to be against this, John. I'm no. fully for this. Well, you're, you're totally going against but. what you just bitched about for the last <laughs> minute and a half. For strip clubs, <laughs> it's a dirty, it's a dirty game. I just collected money. Anyway. I'm okay with keeping our real currency. But for strip clubs, so, you should definitely ain't going swipe. Away, John. So, you should definitely swipe that. So shit when we out. launch this app, would it be beta testing or would it be boner testing? <laughs> you know, they can actually wear like a little chip on them. Yeah. So when you like, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Now you're talking about <laughs> chipping people. <laughs> no, no, no. It's on their no. clothes. It's on their clothes or whatever they're wearing. Or their Before high you know, heels. They'll or be putting us on trains, John. But anyways, <laughs> so your app, they had this chip on them, and if you like them, you can just swipe at their chip. But here's here's what. I want to I want to put in this app if they do something that's fucking disgusting I want to swipe back and get a dollar back <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> pay me you could probably write a review on it no I don't want a review on a dollar back Weird. one that I had given obviously not you, know, <laughs> you want your dollar back mind. girl holla holla back yeah that mm, that's a good idea see I don't really use much cash because I hate having change in my pocket I don't use cash like I have cash I do have some I'll cash. I mean, at all times, just in case, like, something happens where, like, say, like, the Internet's down or the electricity's down. Or How you go to a store and their their Internet's down and you have yes. to pay with cash. Or if you go get some barbecue up here at the uh, Granger's and Sons, you, can't swipe you have there. to have cash. So It's not a bad thing. Yep, it's not a bad thing. Like I said, boy, if you were going down the road and you see a lawnmower for sale, it's cash. Running down the road trying to loosen your load. <laughs> Easy there, Travis Tritt. Right down the road. I mean, y'all can call me Clay Walker or what, but I just want to live until I die. Like we was talking about dying earlier. Yeah, That's me, me too, man. I'm not trying to be fucking. Did you go just eight point seven seconds on a bull named Fu Manchu. Easy there, Timmy. <laughs> Timmy man. No, but I did run with the bulls, <laughs> and I have grabbed the bulls by the horn. Yeah, I, I've seen the, the look of death like in your eyes. When I've you, done some dumb shit. Yeah, that running the Bulls in Pasco, that pitcher that Justin had in his phone. It looked like oh, you thought I was scared. That was dumb. Him. Yeah, like, John thought he was dying, the look on his face. I, I didn't real like. And that, and that bull was it was like 38 feet away from him, too, and John thought he was that, about to die. Here, here's, my, here's the funniest thing about it is I never felt the fear, but when you look at the picture, you the can fear see it. You can see the fear in me. But <laughs> it, happened, it happened so fast that you don't even realize it. They didn't put the bull out of the cage yet. Yeah. But... I have grabbed a, gra- a bull by the, by the horns. It's not a good idea, especially when you shake its head. You piss him off. Yeah, you gotta get the fuck out of there. Brilliant. Not a, not one of my brilliant moves. No. But I did not die. We have any more topics? Um. Mm. No, I think I'm good. I'm I'm doing all right. We're back. <laughs> I'm doing. And all if right. we didn't if we didn't remember the topics this week, we we'll, might get to it next week. Or Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. You never know. <laughs> you never might, know. You might see us like in four months. This pandemic might be over by the time we get back. Well, who's to say they don't block the roads where we can't come over anyways? <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to do a Zoom meeting again. That I think we're sucks. fine, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys just tell me when to You show guys are up. talking like it was six months ago. Like. <laughs> it was. It seems like it. Yeah. Shit. I mean, it was at least two I mean, or three. It was way back I remember, in May. Yeah, I remember uh, in April <laughs> when we first started. The fucking the coronavirus pandemic. was real. I still had an July. injury. Yeah. Uh, oh, it, yeah. it really ain't been that long. I May, didn't have June, a baby. July. It's been two and a half months since our last podcast. Two and a half months. It's been yeah. a while. It's been a while. It's <laughs> like Aaron twenty Lewis weeks. Stain. Yeah. You way to branch down, John. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't continue it. Should we wrap this thing up? Yeah, I guess. You should always wrap it up. <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna have babies. Wrap it, John. You only need a third baby, and you're not gonna get any yeah. fucking sleep. Ooh. I'm gonna get great sleep tonight. Me too. I'm not. <laughs> and I know this for a fact because I'm getting texts like when you come home. So that means when am I gonna take the baby? Which means I'm not sleeping for a while. When you get home, say I'm gonna take about a two-hour nap. <laughs> I'm gonna do whatever I can to get this baby to go to sleep. 
power nap. Ether power nap. Ether. <laughs> yeah. It works all the time. Put some sleep. What is that, like some uh, Jack Daniels on the pacifier? Whiskey tits. With yeah. yeah. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing any of that. <laughs> Purple Paul. Yeah. Well. Hey. Yep. We'll try again next week, maybe. Maybe. We'll, yeah, we'll see you. <laughs> no guarantees. No yeah. guarantees. <laughs> oh, I'd love to say we can. This show is like life. No guarantees. <laughs> we'll see y'all. Brought to you by No Guarantees.